Yo, what is up guys? Brandon here from Red Black Productions and today I'm going to teach you how to add a lens flare in Final Cut Pro 10 for free. So if you guys already know by now by watching other people's YouTube tutorials, you'll find out putting a lens flare in your video is you have to download an external plugin which comes at a cost. But today I'm going to teach you the free and easy and legal way how to do it in Final Cut Pro 10. So first let's go to our internet browser and make sure we go to Google and type in lens flare. Now what we're going to do is go to images and choose the image we like. It doesn't really matter if it has this black background, so just choose whichever one you like. I'm going to choose this one for this example. Now let's go and save it to our desktop. Now what we're going to do is go back to Final Cut Pro 10 and import our picture. And drag it onto our video. So as you can see, this is what the picture will look like. It doesn't look very appealing right now. So what we're going to do is make sure we click on it. Now we got our inspector window in the top right hand panel, go under video and scroll down to the composition. Now we go to blending mode and we change that to screen. And there we go, we already have a lens flare. So what we can do is go to this transform button over here and reposition it to however we like. Let's go make it bigger and let's go move it to where the light is. Alright, and that's pretty much how to make a lens flare in Final Cut Pro 10. Pretty easy, right? We can also take this to another step further by adding more images of lens flares by doing the exact same process. And there you go, we pretty much have a second lens flare. Now to add effect, because we all know that in videos, the lens flare doesn't exactly stay in one place forever, it kind of moves. So what we can do is keyframe the image. So to keyframe, make sure we click on the frame where we want it to start. Now we go back to inspector window, go under transform and click on all four of these. Now let's move it up a couple frames, go about here. And click the frames again and move our image. Let's move it, say about here. All right, and now let's go and watch our video. All right, and that's pretty much how to add a lens flare in Final Cut Pro 10. Pretty easy, right? All you gotta do is go to Google Images, find a picture, import it, change the composition, and you can even keyframe it to add more effect. Alright, so if you guys found this video helpful, feel free to leave a comment down below, like this video, make sure to subscribe, and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Laters!